Hi, today we're going to be looking at a hot air soldering station. This is from a company called RF4 and the model is RF-H2. So I just got this off AliExpress. Uh, 96 euros delivered. Okay, so the power button is on the back of the unit, just under the power cable. While the nozzle is on the stand, it's in sleep mode. Uh, we have three presets that you can set up different temperatures. And then obviously you just have your air up and down and your, your heat up and down. So, very simple interface removing the nozzle from the stand temperature up to 350 airflow 50% and then obviously you can change your presets for example there we go 350 degrees at 80 percent nozzle back on the stand Air rate back up to 100%. The temperature is going to come down to 70 degrees. And there we go. So once the unit reaches 70 degrees goes to sleep. In the box came the user manual. Not much going on here. There is a um, some instructions on how to change the element should the element get burnt. Okay, let's have a look at the board under a thermal camera. Okay, so we will leave the temperature set at 350, airspeed 50%. Let's heat up a MOSFET here and let's see what sort of temperature we can get to. Okay, so that was straightforward. We removed the MOSFET. So I got this unit off AliExpress. I paid 96 euros 23 delivered. Took about two weeks to get to me here in Europe. And so far, I'm very satisfied. As far as quality is concerned, the test is in the pudding. We'll see how long it lasts. But from my first initial impression, everything looks very good. Do take note on this unit, the hose comes out the side of the unit not out the front like most other hot air stations so depending on how you've set up your bench this could be a hindrance or it could be an advantage anyway that's my new RF4 hot air soldering station thanks for watching remember there's always a fix and we'll see you in the next one